how I lay me down to sleep, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to take. that we are speaking about and the glorious comfort that this simple prayer is for us as Christians. Every time we lay our heads on our pillows, young and old alike, we confess with this prayer that if we don't open our eyes the next morning here on earth, we will be in heaven above with Christ. joined through faith with Christ and who are indwelt by the Holy Spirit are when they die immediately immediately taken into the presence of the Lord the communion with Christ that we enjoy now by his spirit is not interrupted for a moment for a split second but instead is intensified upon the event of our death we enter into a new and more intimate communion in the Lord's presence. Listen to what is written for us in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 6. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. We live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. The Catechism, in its summary of the biblical teaching concerning the life everlasting, says, Even as I already now experience in my heart the beginning of eternal joy, so after this life I will have perfect blessedness such as no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no man has ever imagined, a blessedness in which to praise God eternally. just a moment on that simple little prayer that most of us have learned when we were young. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray thee, Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray thee, Lord, my soul to take.